Bring thousands of college football fans to the city of Montgomery. Yeah, upper 40s will be tank tops and flip flops <laughs> by next week. Let's check in with WSFA 12 News reporter Bethany Davis who joins us live. Ready for that big game. And Bethany, this game has become a favorite holiday tradition and also a very competitive game most years as well. It sure has. This is the ninth annual Camellia Bowl. Listen, before we get to the game and the teams, we need to tell you whether you're going to the game or not. You need to know that Madison Avenue in front of Crampton Bowl is going to be closed starting Monday night at 6 o'clock. It's going to remain closed until after the game and all the festivities that come along with it. That'll probably be Tuesday afternoon or maybe even early evening on Tuesday. Montgomery Police though, will have detours set up to help you move around at the stadium. Both teams in this year's matchup have played and won the Camellia Bowl before. Georgia Southern played in 2018, and Buffalo was here in 2020. Georgia Southern's got a lot of uh, momentum going. They won their last game against App State. Uh, got a new head football coach, Clay Helton, who came from Southern California last year. So they've got a lot of momentum going. Buffalo was in our game two years ago and played Marshall and won that game. So they're excited to be able to come back to Montgomery and be able to take care of, take advantage of the, of the sites we have. They were only here one night and played the game, so they didn't get a true bowl experience. So I'm really excited. They're going to get a chance to, to cheer a lot of our historical sites here, have some good old barbecue, and enjoy the Southern hospitality. Now, this year's Camellia Bowl has a little different schedule than what we've seen in years past. The game was played on Christmas Day the past two years, and this year's 11 a.m. kickoff is also the earliest start in the Camellia Bowl's nine-year history, guys. I'm all for football on Christmas Day, but after looking at that forecast, the 27th sounds glorious <laughs> this year. Sounds a little better, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was good planning. Look at that, Bethany, thank you for that. Plenty of tickets still available. You can get them online at CamelliaBowl.com, or you can watch the Camellia Bowl live on ESPN. Time now for a look at today's Morning Smile. Eight deserving charities and organizations are getting a little boost before Christmas. In a ceremony at Montgomery City Hall, Mayor Stephen Reed presented eight checks of $8,000 each donated by the Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity from the Omega Iota Iota Chapter. And on top of that, the mayor's office chipped in an extra $3,000. That money will be split between eight different organizations, including Friendship Mission, the Red Cross, and Hillview Terrace. Harris Nursing Home. Remember, if you have a happy or fun story you want to share with us here at WSFA, send us an email with picture or video at morningsmile at WSFA.com. Stay with us. We're wrapping up today in Alabama right after this break.